All right, this is my quick review of, this will be Fedora Cinnamon 40. This is the version of Fedora. It's a spin on Fedora's website, and I'm just trying it out. It's kind of like, you know, maybe feels like Linux Mint because it's using the Cinnamon desktop environment, but it's Fedora. So a couple things right out of the box. I could not run flat packs because it's using DNF Dragora as the front end package manager for DNF. So the thing is I had to install GNOME software and that's all I did was just type in sudo DNF. Oh, let me see. I'll tell you exactly what I typed in here. Sudo. You know what? I think it was just sudo DNF install GNOME software, GNOME dash software. And that's all it was. And it, I now have GNOME Software Center, which can handle flat packs. So I could go to FlatHub and install things like GPU screen recorder that I have here. So that's one thing right out of the box I had to kind of figure out, but not a big deal. And now like something on Linux Mint, you're, you're already ready to go right out of the box. It's kind of like it's got everything you need. But let's check this out and see what Fedora Cinnamon has. So we're going to go to accessories. You got calculator, things like document viewer, redshift, you know, things I've seen on Linux Mint. Uh, text editor. Let's see what text editor we have. It is ZXED. All right. Let's go back. We're going to go to graphics. Eye of Mate, Image Viewer, Shotwell, and Document Scanner. So I've got some good graphics uh, tools here. I always recommend installing GIMP as well. That's pretty simple, though. Internet, you got Firefox Browser, HexChat, which is an IRC chat client, I believe. I think it is, yeah. Pigeon is a XMPP or like one of those multi-messenger programs. I used to use it a long time ago. But um, I haven't found a reason to use it lately, I guess. Everything seems to be in the browser nowadays, but pretty cool that it's here. Thunderbird, the email client, and transmission BitTorrent client. You got the LibreOffice suite. You got sound and video. We got XFMURN. I don't see anything like VLC Media Player, which is something I would install out of the box, even though I know it's probably dated to some people. I just love it. It seems to play anything. So I would install something like that. Uh, under administration, there it is, DNF Dragora. So that's the front end for DNF. It kind of looks like Synaptic Package Manager, if you've ever used that before. Kind of reminds me of that. It's got that feel. Let's see. But this is what it looks like. And basically, you can search for your apps through, you know, Fedora Package uh, Repository and get them installed. So that's pretty cool. Let's close that. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got... XF burn. Um, it's if your computer has a CD burner or DVD burner on it, this machine that I'm on does not. XAW. I've never seen XAW TV television viewer. There I am. Cool. 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 That's interesting. I don't know what it is, but maybe I'll mess with that later. <laughs> Um, we got, back to administration, we got print settings, problem reporting, SE Linux troubleshooter, software. That's the GNOME Software Center that I installed. It did not come stock. So that's something you might want to watch out for, or maybe something you want to install after the fact if you try this out. Uh, we got preferences. We got accessibility, account details, actions, applets, backgrounds, Bluetooth manager. I do love the Cinnamon desktop. It's just great. That's the only reason I'm trying the spin is because it's Cinnamon Desktop and, I, and I'm and i familiar with it through Linux Mint. Do I recommend Linux Mint for the out-of-the-box experience right, 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 out of, you know, right, right uh, over this? Yeah, yeah, I do. But um, I do like Fedora and Fedora 40 GNOME is just amazing. As you've seen in my last video, I really love that. But this is really cool that Fedora has a Cinnamon version available. It's got a privacy setting under preferences. Let's see what that is. Never forget old files. Number of days to remember old files. That's an interesting setting. Okay, cool. 
close that. Very cool. All right, so that's really all there is to this. Um, there's nothing I'm going to really check outside of Cinnamon Desktop, but this is pretty cool. Pretty cool to mess with. Thanks a lot for watching.